Russia's new weapon stirs up the internet, what are NATO and Ukraine afraid of in Russia's latest ballistic missile? Introducing the Iskander 1000, the latest evolution of Russia's tactical ballistic missile system, sounding new alarm bells for NATO and its allies. This missile represents a significant upgrade from its predecessor, the Iskander-M, which previously had a maximum range of around 500 kilometers. Now, thanks to a more efficient engine and a 15% increase in fuel capacity, the Iskander 1000 can travel up to 1,000 kilometers, double the range of the earlier version. This upgrade isn't just a number on paper. The extended range allows Russia to target a much wider area without needing to move its launch positions closer to the front lines. This gives Russia a major strategic advantage reinforcing its offensive posture while complicating the enemy's defense calculations. For NATO, the presence of the Iskander 1000 raises serious concerns. This threat demands a swift and significant response. Existing missile defense systems across NATO and its allies may now require urgent restructuring and modernization. Some sources claim that NATO could match or counter this threat, but is that really true? Keep your eyes on the story. Throughout the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the Iskander-M tactical ballistic missile has repeatedly demonstrated its superiority on the battlefield. In one of the most recent operations captured by UAV near Kramatorsk, units from Russia's Yug Group launched a precise and devastating strike. The Iskander missile destroyed a high Mars multiple rocket launcher and its ammunition payload in an instant, a heavy blow delivered by advanced military technology. And that was just the Iskander M. Imagine the potential devastation of the more advanced Iskander 1000. The impact could be even more staggering. Another widely circulated video from the Kursk region shows exceptional coordination between the Iskander missile system and the Oregon rocket system. Their joint operation targeted concentrations of Ukrainian forces in the settlements of Guevo and Gornol. With high precision coordination, the strike ensured maximum destruction of the designated targets. Once again, the Iskander proved to be more than just a missile. It's a strategic weapon capable of shifting the dynamics of warfare. But perhaps the most striking demonstration of the Iskander's impact took place in the heart of Ukraine, Kyiv. According to a report from Bulgarian military, in a large-scale operation, Russian forces launched a multi-layered attack using drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The targets were spread across several strategic locations. In this wave, the Iskander-M played a crucial role. With high speed and remarkable accuracy, these missiles overwhelmed Ukraine's air defense systems. A report from AMK Mapping, an open-source intelligence platform monitoring the conflict in real time, stated that eight Iskander-M missiles were launched at Kyiv and none were intercepted. This raises a critical question, where were the Patriot air defense systems? If the report is accurate, it suggests that Ukraine's defense systems may have been overwhelmed by the sheer number of simultaneous threats, exceeding the capacity of both radars and interceptors. This leads the world to wonder, if the Iskander-M alone can produce such a devastating effect, what will happen when the next generation, the Iskander-1000, fully enters the battlefield? It may not just shock the front lines, but the entire world. The United States feels threatened by the presence of the Iskander-1000. Currently, they are developing the Precision Strike Missile, a high-speed weapon capable of maneuvering and executing dual strikes with a minimum range of 500 kilometers, possibly even farther. It is said that the U.S. believes the Typhon system can rival Russia's Iskander 1000. Are they confident? Let's take a closer look at the potential of the Iskander 1000. 
The Iskander 1000 was first introduced in a video released in May 2024, coinciding with the 78th anniversary of the legendary Kapustin Yar missile test site. The video revealed various advanced technologies built into this missile, which is designed to transform the paradigm of modern defense and offense systems. One of the most sophisticated features of the Iskander 1000 is its autonomous inertial navigation system. With this technology, the missile can track its position and orientation with exceptional accuracy. The onboard sensors in this system work with incredible precision, monitoring the missile's movement through every phase of its flight. In fact, a newly implemented algorithm gives it the ability to dynamically adjust its trajectory, minimizing the chance of deviation. Imagine. A missile with a range of up to 1,000 kilometers that can hit its target with remarkable precision. However, the Iskander 1000 does not rely solely on inertial navigation. It is also equipped with satellite navigation capabilities, such as GPS and GLONASS. The integration of these satellite guidance systems is a critical component, especially given the missile's long range. With this technology, the Iskander 1000 can travel across vast geographical obstacles while maintaining impressive accuracy. Further predictions about the Iskander 1000's capabilities also highlight its active radar guidance system during the terminal phase of flight. This phase is crucial, particularly because of the potential for electronic interference or enemy countermeasures. Nevertheless, with its integrated radar system, the missile can adjust its trajectory and overcome various forms of interference, ensuring it can destroy moving or heavily defended targets with pinpoint accuracy. Moreover, to counter interception threats, the Iskander 1000 is equipped with highly advanced electronic countermeasures. With specially designed active and passive decoys, the missile can confuse or mislead enemy missile defense systems, adding an extra layer of protection to ensure a successful strike. Considering all the cutting-edge features of the Iskander 1000, it's no surprise that Russia may decide to deploy it in strategic locations. One such place is the Kaliningrad Oblast, a region with a highly significant position in asserting dominance and acting as a preventive measure against potential threats from adversaries. So, do you believe the Iskander 1000 is a game changer? That's all for today, and thanks for watching.